Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Before we get into tonight's game, I wanted to talk about the sponsor for this video, Card Conduit. Card Conduit is a service that takes the hassle out of trying to offload your extra cards. They provide top buy list value for your cards without all the extra effort of traditional buy listing. The service is quick and easy. Simply send them your unsorted cards, and then Card Conduit will sort, grade, and find the best buy list price for each of your cards. They are fully transparent, giving you a detailed report of exactly what you sent and what they are paying you for each card. You can also see exactly what you'll get for your cards ahead of time by going to their price check tool on their website. Their fees are reasonable and their customer service is fantastic. They process quickly and submit their payments super fast. I personally used Card Conduit twice before they ever became a sponsor. They were amazing, guiding me through the process and clarifying any questions or hesitations that I had. I got a fair price for my cards and they literally saved me dozens of hours in the process. If you sign up with my link in the description below or use the promo code POWER, you will also get 10% off of their fees when you use their service. So give Card Conduit a try today. I will be using them for all of my extra cards from now on and I recommend that you do the same. We are back with another Mox Pearl game. We have patrons Charles and Chad here to battle it out with the Plane with Power crew. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Charles piloting the partner pair of Yoshimaru Ever Faithful and Kaleth Sunmare Familiar. This deck, called the Dog and Pony Show, seeks to land hate bears and swing with an ever-growing army of creatures. Charles' opening hand contains the Snow-Covered Plains, Angel of Jubilation, Drenith Magistrate, Homeward Path, Winds of Abandon, On Thin Ice, and a Containment Priest. Next, we have Chad piloting Falco Spara, Pact Weaver. This deck attempts to assemble a Devoted Druid Sensei's top line or wins with Hermit Druid and Thassa's Oracle. Chad's opening hand contains the Chain of Vapor, Path to Exile, Hallowed Fountain, Scheming Fence, Noble Hierarch, and his London Mulligans are a Laboratory Maniac and an Endurance. After that, we have a Shawnee piloting the partner pair of Malcolm Kenai Navigator and Bile Smasher the Fierce. This mid-range deck seeks to win with Glenhorn Buccaneer and uses all of the best cards in Grixis to get there. Ashani's opening hand contains a Grim Hireling, Imperial Seal, Wooded Foothills, Flooded Strand, Volcanic Island, March of Swirling Mist, and his London Mulligan is a Demonic Tutor. Finally, we have Ryan piloting Tygum Ujitai Master. This deck seeks to create an infinite turn combo enabled and protected by its commander. Ryan's opening hand contains a Mox Diamond, Ponder, Talisman of Progress, Mental Misstep, Mana Vault, Sunscape Familiar, and a Flooded Strand. Without further ado, let's kick off this tasty, tall, tenacious talk show. Charles wins the Blackout Challenge and gets to start us off. Charles draws a card for turn and plays the Snow-Covered Plains. He casts his commander, Yoshimaru, ever faithful. He passes. Chad draws and plays a Hallowed Fountain into play untapped, paying two life. He casts a turn one, Mystic Remora. In response, Ryan pays two life to help cast Mental Misstep, countering Remora. <laughs> the table cheers and Chad passes. Ashani draws and plays a Wooded Foothills. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Badlands onto the battlefield. He casts Imperial Seal. He fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses two life. Ashani passes. Ryan draws and plays a Flooded Strand. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tundra onto the battlefield. He casts Ponder. He looks at the top three, rearranges, and draws. He casts Mox Diamond, discarding Windswept Teeth. He casts a Mana Vault. Ryan ends his turn. Charles draws and plays a Homeward Path. He casts a Dranith Magistrate. The table sighs and Dranith resolves. Charles moves to combat and attacks Ashani with Yoshimaru. Ashani takes it and Charles gives the turn to Chad. Chad draws, takes no actions, and passes. Ashani draws and plays a Volcanic Island. He casts a Mana Crypt. He casts a Grim Hireling. Ashani ends his turn. Ryan draws and casts a Talisman of Progress. All through, Ryan ships the turn to Charles. Charles draws and plays a Snow-Covered Plains. He casts Esper Sentinel. He casts On Thin Ice. It enters and exiles Grim Hireling. He moves to combat and attacks Ashani with Yoshi and Dranith. Ashani takes it and Charles passes the turn. Chad draws and casts a Brainstorm. Esper triggers and Charles draws. He draws three and then puts two back on top. He plays a Breeding Pool into play untapped, paying two life. He casts Carpet of Flowers. He moves to a second main phase and adds a green through his carpet. He casts Noble Hierarch. Finished up, Chad passes. During his upkeep, Ashani wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and plays a Flooded Strand. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Steam Vents into play tapped. Ashani passes. Ryan draws and plays a Misty Rainforest. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Hallowed Fountain into play untapped, paying two life. Ryan ends his turn. Charles draws and casts a Stoneforge Mystic. It enters, and Charles fetches up an Umizawa's Jitte into his hand. He attacks Ashani with Esper, Yoshimaru, and Dranith. Ashani takes it, and in his second main phase, Charles casts March of Otherworldly Light, exiling a white card, exiling Carpet of Flowers. Finished up, Charles passes. Chad draws and plays a Temple Garden into play untapped, paying two life. 
He casts Glenelendra Archmage. Chad passes. At the end of Chad's turn, Ashani casts March of Swirling Mists where X equals 1, targeting Dranith Magistrate. Esper triggers and Ashani pays. Dranith Magistrate phases out and Ashani moves to his turn. During his upkeep, Ashani wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and plays a Command Tower. He casts his Commander, Vile Smasher the Fierce. He casts his other Commander, Malcolm Key Knight Navigator. With his Commanders finally out, Ashani passes to Ryan. Ryan draws and casts his Commander, Tygum Ujitai Master. Ryan ends his turn. Before Charles' turn, Dranith Magistrate phases in. Charles draws and casts Stony Silence. He passes. Chad draws and casts Jiraga Tree Speaker. He pays two to level up Jiraga. Chad passes. During his upkeep, Ashani wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and moves to combat. He attacks Charles with Malcolm. Charles takes it and Malcolm triggers, creating a treasure. Ashani gives the turn to Ryan. During his draw step, Ryan takes a damage from his Mana Vault. He plays an island for turn. He casts Sunscape Familiar. He moves to combat and attacks Chad with Tygum. Chad takes it and Ryan passes to Charles. Charles draws and plays a Naganjo, Seed of the Empire. Yoshimaru triggers and gets a plus one plus one counter. He casts Angel of Jubilation. He moves to combat and attacks Ashani with Yoshimaru, Chad with Dranith Magistrate, and Ryan with Stoneforge and Esper Sentinel. In response, Chad casts Pet to Exile, targeting Angel of Jubilation. Esper triggers and, in response, Ashani casts Winds of Rebuke, targeting On Thin Ice. Esper triggers and Ashani pays. Vile Smasher triggers and deals two to Chad. Winds resolves, On Thin Ice bounces, and each player mills two. Then Grim Hireling re-enters the battlefield from On Thin Ice. Then the original Esper Trigger resolves, Charles draws, then Path resolves, Angel of Jubilation is exiled, and Charles fetches up a snow-covered plains onto the battlefield tapped. Chad double blocks Dranith with Glenelendra and Jiraga Tree Speaker, Ashani blocks Yoshimaru with Vile Smasher, and Ryan blocks Esper Sentinel with Sunscape Familiar. Then damage resolves, Dranith and Yoshimaru die, and Ryan takes one. All finished up, Charles passes to Chad. Chad draws and casts his commander, Falco Spara, Pact Weaver. It enters with a shield counter. He plays a Polluted Delta. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tropical Island onto the battlefield. He removes a counter from Falco to help cast Turn the Earth from the top of his library. Esper triggers and Charles draws. Chad then shuffles in Brainstorm, Path to Exile, and Mr. Grimora into his library, then gains two life. With nothing else, Chad passes. During his upkeep, Ashani loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage. He draws and moves to combat. He attacks Charles with Malcolm and Ryan with Grim Hireling. In response, Ryan casts Resculpt, targeting Grim Hireling. Esper triggers and Charles draws. In response, Ashani casts Culling the Weak, sacrificing Grim Hireling, adding four black. Esper triggers and Ashani pays. Vile Smasher triggers and Chad takes one. Resculpt then fizzles. With his floating mana, Ashani casts Shallow Grave, returning Grim Hireling to the battlefield. Then Charles takes the hit, Malcolm creates a treasure, and Grim Hireling creates two treasures. Ashani passes and Grim Hireling is exiled through Shallow Grave. During his draw step, Ryan takes a damage from his mana vault. He plays an island for turn. He passes. Charles draws and plays a snow-covered plains. He casts Grand Abolisher. He casts Swords to Plowshares, targeting Glen Elendra. Elendra is exiled and Chad gains two life. Charles recasts on Thin Ice, exiling Malcolm Keen-Eyed Navigator as it enters. He casts his other commander, Kelleth, Sun Main Familiar. He attacks Ryan with Esper Sentinel and Stoneforge Mystic. Ryan blocks Sentinel and takes the rest. With nothing else, Charles passes. Chad draws and levels up Jiraga Tree Speaker. Chad removes the counter from Jiraga Tree Speaker to help cast Ranger Captain of Eos off of the top of his library. It enters and he fetches up an Esper Sentinel into his hand. He casts Esper Sentinel. Chad ends his turn. During his upkeep, Ashani wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and casts Jessica's Will, choosing both modes, targeting Charles. Vile Smasher triggers and deals three damage to Ryan. Both Esper's trigger and both players draw. In response, Chad sacrifices Ranger Captain of Eos, locking out his opponents from non-creature spells, which is extra bad for Ashani. Jessica's Will resolves, he adds four red, and Ashani exiles Resculpt, Gamble, and Phantasmal Image. He casts Phantasmal Image from Exile. It enters as a copy of Esper Sentinel. Finished up, Ashani passes. During his draw step, Ryan takes the damage from his Mana Vault. He casts Vanquish the Horde. Three Esper Sentinel's trigger, Ashani draws, and Ryan pays for Charles and Chad's. In response, Chad removes a level counter from Jiraga Tree Speaker to cast Noxious Revival from the top of his library through Falco. Both Esper's trigger and Charles and Ashani draw. Noxious Revival resolves and Chad puts a Ranger Captain of Eos from his graveyard onto the top of his library. Then Vanquish the Horde resolves, destroying all creatures. All through, Ryan ends his turn. Charles draws and recasts his commander, Yoshimaru. He casts his other commander, Kaleth. Yoshimaru triggers and gets a plus one plus one counter. Charles passes. Chad draws and plays a Bountiful Promenade. He recasts Ranger Captain of Eos. It enters and he fetches up a Machaeus the Lunark into his hand. He casts Machaeus where X equals one. With nothing else, Chad ships the turn to Ashani. During his upkeep, Ashani wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and casts Jeweled Lotus. He casts Grim Monolith. He ends his turn. During his draw step, Ryan takes a damage from his Mana Vault. 
He does nothing else and passes the turn. Charles draws and plays the snow-covered plains. He casts Commander's Insignia. In response, Ashani casts Swan Song. Insignia is countered and Charles creates a 2-2 bird. Next, Charles casts Abzan Falconer. He moves to combat and attacks Ashani with Kelleth and Yoshimaru. Both get plus one plus one counters, Ashani takes it, and Charles passes the turn. Chad draws and casts Ristic Study. In response, Ryan casts Counterspell, countering Ristic. Chad plays an Ottawara, Soaring City as his land for turn. He activates Micaeus, giving it a plus one plus one counter. He attacks Ryan with Ranger Captain. Ryan takes it, and Chad ends his turn. During his upkeep, Ashani loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage. He draws and plays an Ancient Tomb. He taps his Ancient Tomb to recast his commander, Malcolm. Ashani passes. During his draw step, Ryan takes a damage from his Mana Ball. He does nothing else and passes the turn. Charles draws and casts Chancellor of the Annex. He moves to combat and attacks Ashani with everything. Yoshimaru and Kalos both get a counter. Ashani trades Malcolm with the Swan Token and takes the rest. Charles ends his turn. Chad draws and casts Birds of Paradise. He activates Micaeus, giving itself a counter. He attacks Ashani with Ranger Captain. Ashani takes it and Chad passes the turn. During his upkeep, Ashani loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage and dies. The turn moves through steps and phases, and at the end of Ashani's turn, Ryan flashes in an Avon Mind Sensor. During his draw step, Ryan takes a damage from his Mana Vault. He takes no other actions and passes the turn. Charles draws and plays a Snow-Covered Plains. He casts Sarah's Emissary. It enters, and Charles names Creatures. He casts Umazawa's Jite. Yoshimaru triggers and gets a counter. He moves to combat and attacks Ryan with everything. Yoshimaru and Kelleth both get a counter. Since they all have protection from creatures, Ryan declares no blocks and takes it all. Charles passes. At the end of Charles' turn, Chad flashes back, turn the earth. He shuffles in Ristic Study, Esper Sentinel, and Lion Sash into his library and gains two life. The turn moves to Chad. Chad draws and recasts his commander, Falco Spara. He passes. During his draw step, Ryan takes the damage from his Mana Ball. He takes no other actions, accepts his fate, and passes the turn. During Charles' upkeep, Chad sacrifices Ranger Captain, attempting to slow down Charles. Charles draws and casts Thalia, Guardian of Thraben. Yoshimaru triggers and gets a counter. Charles attacks Ryan with Abzan Falconer and Kelleth, and the rest at Chad. Yoshimaru and Kelleth get a counter, both players declare no blocks and take it all. Ryan dies and Charles passes. At the end of Charles' turn, Chad activates Micaeus, giving each of his creatures a plus one plus one counter. Chad draws and casts Eladomri's Call. He fetches up a Spellseeker into his hand. He casts a Soul Ring. He passes. Charles draws and casts an overloaded Winds of Abandon. Chad sighs and Winds of Abandon resolves. All of his creatures are exiled, but since he runs Hermit Druid, he has no basic lands in his deck. Charles moves to combat, swings with the team, Chad dies, and Charles wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a fun game. Congrats to Charles on his win. Many times, CDH appears to be only about big splashy plays, huge storm turns, and Thassa's Oracle combos. Many times, however, CDH games are just about attrition, removal, and combat. That's exactly what this game was tonight. Charles expertly played his cards at the right times and traded back and forth in order to slowly grind his opponents out. We love to show games like this to show that if you are playing your commander games this way, CEDH has a spot for you as well. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time when we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.